Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and welcome to your latest transfer update. In this one, we are going to be talking about Gabriel Jesus as usual and also Lisandro Martinez. What is the latest on them? When are we going to get these signings over the line? Let's start with the latest update on Jesus. So according to Chris Whitley, Gabriel Jesus to, uh, to Arsenal getting closer. We've also been wondering about the fee. Uh, we were told Arsenal agreed a fee, but we aren't told how much. Um, apparently, final fee expected to be in the region of 45 million plus add-ons, which we could probably total 20 million by the end of the day. I don't mind really as long as we get the player. Technical director Edu has had extensive talks with the player's agents and 25-year-old has been assured a regular starting role at Arsenal. That is definitely what he wants, to start every single Arsenal game. And that is why we had the advantage of a team like Tottenham who have the likes of Harry Kane and Liu Ming Son. We, we don't have anyone who can play in that position. Okay, Nkete is there, but we know he's not going to play every single one of those games. We're in four competitions next season. So that definitely means Gabriel Jesus will be the one starting for us. So that is good news. If it's 45 million, I'm guessing plus around 5 million add-ons, will still total up to 50 million. I don't know um, after how long we'll pay that five million or in what kind of installments. But hey, as long as we get the player, this is the player we want. And I've also um, seen reports saying this deal will be done in the next seven days. So I, I, I'm guessing uh, agents uh, agreements, the medicals, and probably the announcement as well. That is still within this month. That will be like around 31st July or something. So hopefully we still um, get this deal done by the end of the month. That is something I really want us to get done with. Um, pre-season is starting like the beginning of, uh, of July, like one week into July, and uh, that's like two weeks from now. So hopefully we do get it done so that you can be ready for pre-season after the holidays. Next up is Lisandro Martinez. Yesterday we heard that since Nuno Tavares is linked to Marseille and also Real Sociedad, uh, we are definitely going to get Lisandro Martinez. But Ajax are very, very... Um, stubborn now since they've sold a, a couple of players they've refused to sell a few players to manchester united their coach came out yesterday and um said he doesn't really want to sell the likes of anthony who man united wants nothing yet about lisandro martinez so hopefully we are getting the job um done so according to fabrizio Romano, as treated by eduardo arsenal have had have started new contacts with lisandro martinez agent in the last 48 hours so remember we made a bid for him around um, 30 million pounds it was rejected and Arsenal have started new contacts with Martinez um, agents in the last 48 hours. Hopefully, we do come to an agreement before very before any any twists and turns. But this is the kind of deal I expect to be done as soon as possible. Otherwise, if, if we get into too deep into July, I can't see it being done. I can see him remaining there. So, Lisandro Martinez, um, Tavares is looking likely to leave Arsenal on loan. We're still not sure where he's going to go, whether it's Marseille or Real Sociedad, wherever he goes. We'll have only one left back that's Tini, who just returned to light training. But Lisandro Martinez is definitely a guy we want in this team. So, those are the, uh, those, that, that's the latest news on the two players. In today's news about Rafinha, nothing really concrete apart from something we've had is Barcelona are now definitely out of that race and uh we know the player wanted to join barcelona we've not really heard about anything else i think it would be impossible to just like pay for all these three players that would be like 160 million right away like 170 million just paid for all these three players i'd love that to happen so that you get our business done by the end of june but that is definitely impossible and uh what i'm liking about this transfer window we've been like two three weeks into it and we've only heard about the four or five players that we've been linked to Usually with Arsenal, every other transfer window, it's three different players every single day. Today, it's Pat and the War. Tomorrow, we are linked to Benzema and Higuain. The next day, we are linked to Tillemans and Rafinha. The next day, we are linked to Madison and, I don't know, William. We are, you get used to uh, getting into so many, many, many players. Right now, I'm actually happy to be linked to the same players. At least we can focus on this one. It's all about Sandro Martinez. We know about that. We've been talking about in the last one week. It's all about Gabriel Jesus. We know about that. We've been talking about him all week. It's all about Rafinha. We already know that. We've been talking about um, him all week. And this guy, Tillemans, we've even stopped um, going for him at the moment. So we are really talking about three players at the uh, at the very at this very point. So I really want us to get the Jesus deal done as soon as possible. Personally, I'll get the Jesus deal done uh, fast. If it was these three players. 
I'd get Jesus done first, then Rafinha, then Lisandro Martinez. If it was my own choice, I'd get Jesus done, then Tillemans second. Um, out of those um, three players that you're saying, I think we'll get like two. It's going to be a miracle if we get three. So if you're getting two, which two of them would you want at Arsenal? But that's the latest on Lisandro Martinez and also Gabriel Jesus. 